in this video we will be creating our first react native project through expo cli uh, command line tool and uh, we will troubleshoot and see what kind of problems could arise while the installation and creation of the project we will solve some sdk problems which can arise uh, due to expo um, client application on our phone or emulator how we can actually install and uninstall expo client application on emulator how we work with android emulator and that's all we will be talking about in this uh, video and then we will also run our created project and we'll see what is the default output and we will be running this on our physical device and also on emulator let's create our first react native project with the help of expo cli so you can run into the command you can check if expo is installed on your machine or not by checking the expo version it's globally available if you are creating your project inside uh, c drive or the system drive uh, i better recommend that you run your cmd with administrator rights so you run as administrator so that when you are creating your uh, directories and uh, expo project is created on your c drive so you don't run in any problems so in my case i actually create project in uh, d drive so uh, i will navigate to the project so react native is a directory where i am going to create a project so i will use expo init and it will actually create or initialize a project so i will specify the project name let's say for example first react native project or i can say first expo react native project all right so when i do expo in it it will actually create a project it will ask me that which template i want to use i just need to use up and down arrow keys to select which template i want so in earlier uh, lecture i mentioned that uh, we choose blank so you have a minimal app in this case so when i press enter it asks me to uh, select a name so <coughs> I just uh, uh, start writing so expo rn app press enter it will extract some files it will install the dependency so depending upon your internet connection it will take that much time because it's downloading all the node modules for your react native project during the installation you might uh get some git errors so i also mentioned that if you are having git errors it means that you need to install git bash or the git so you need to see that if git is available on your machine or not if not you need to install uh git on your machine so let's wait so our react native project has been created with the help of expo cli it took around 2 minutes on my machine to install all the dependencies so it may take longer depending upon your internet connection uh, and it will take that much time uh, but that installation is for the first time only when the project is uh, creating with the help of expo cli because it install all these dependencies on your machine and uh, you see that some dependencies are uh, having some vulnerabilities and uh, it's it says that uh, 790 packages actually um, installed uh, in uh, this project so i will just navigate to my uh, directory so first expo rn project and i can write expo start or npm start to run my project
so once the project is uh, in execution form it will actually start building the project and uh, it will create a tunnel and then after that i can scan my uh, the qr code on my physical device which means my phone either it's ios either it's uh, android or i can directly run my project as well on my emulator what kind of emulator i have installed there are some variety of emulators available uh, some are free uh, some emulators are available through google so they actually provide uh, emulating devices so you can do that so this is a qr code and uh, it actually started uh, and i can scan this qr code so i also get this this qr code over here on this console and uh, i also get this qr over here to demonstrate this project how we can execute this project or uh, we can uh, test our project uh, and experience it on our uh, physical device first you if you are on uh, your android device you need to install the expo client app so you have to be very careful and see that you are installing the right app so this is the expo app and these are some uh, screenshots available over here and uh, i will demonstrate with the help of visor so visor is a very nice free tool available to demonstrate uh, our phone and i actually recommend this whenever you are presenting something to the range of audience or even if you are having an online conversation with someone and you want to share the screen of your phone you can use visor and it's freely available so i will open visor so you need to install visor on your uh, uh, machine and uh, you don't need to install visor on your uh, phone it will automatically install visor app so that it can create a bridge and you can actually uh, view uh, the screen of your phone on your pc so you need to connect your phone uh, through a usb uh, cable and then you can demonstrate that so my phone is offline i need to connect my phone see that this the phone is connected properly and uh, <clears throat> i can view this so it's connecting free app actually contains some ads so i guess that's not much of a problem and you can see this is my phone and i have installed this expo app and i can even manage my phone from uh, over here i can even manage my phone from uh, uh, from visor over here i can even launch this app from here through the visor and uh, it will actually launch uh, scan qr code so uh, you see everything is black because my phone is on the table so i will actually scan this qr code when you scan the qr code you might get this error this is the error of uh, SDK version and the mismatch with the Expo client application on your phone. So you need to upgrade your application on your phone or update your application so that it actually matches with the version of uh, Expo CLI which actually used to develop or build your application. It might come or come up this error that your Expo version is different on your phone and also the expo version or the project version is different so to fix this error you need to update these things so my expo cli tool is upgraded before it was 3.11 now it's 3.17 and now i can actually create a project with the help of expo init it will ask for the template and it will start the installation of dependencies so now project has been created i can navigate into the directory
n and beam start at leavingly call suppose start and we'll run the project so project is running now let's scan the QR. So I can run my project using Expo app on my phone. I will scan a QR code. And now it will build JavaScript bundles. So depending upon the speed of internet connection you have, it will take that much time and you can see the downloading G JavaScript bundles so now my app is running and uh, you see a uh, message over here and uh, I can uh, see that uh, it is successfully executed if I go and see some commands over here it says that you can press A for Android emulator I will demonstrate that how we can do that or we can also run our project on web so if I choose to run my project on web, actually Expo is also available for uh, web apps. So it will actually attempt to open the project in a browser and it will use Expo web app, uh, web pack, and then it will actually build that project for the web. It's compiling and then it will launch in a browser. So you can see that our Expo project is also over here. Definitely you, you just want to see or run your project in web uh, just for the layout, but actually you cannot have uh, look and feel on uh, just like you have on phone and definitely your app looks different depending upon your resolution of your phone and also it will look different when uh, it's uh, native 
widgets are actually used or react native components are converted into native widgets so that's why definitely you would be looking for demonstration on your physical device or emulator to run your project on android emulator you need to launch android studio and in android studio you need to look for the virtual devices that uh, that are configured but uh, if you have not configured any virtual device you can add a new virtual device definitely it will download the the image of the device and then uh, you can actually launch any device so i can go in configure and i can open avd manager and here i have conf con configured two devices so let's uh, launch one of these so the android device is running you can see its size on disk is 4.9 gb which is quite big which means when you are creating a new device uh, with the help of uh, emulator uh, with the help of android studio uh, you might look for a time when you can actually download this and uh, you can configure this so once your emulator is running and uh, your pro project is in a running condition you can choose to run your uh, project on an emulator you can press a on command line or you can run your android project from here so you can see an output over here so it's trying to open on an emulator it will launch expo app so for the first time if your emulator uh, is configured for the first time it will install expo app automatically now i am running with this error which means the expo version on this emulator which is installed is an older version whereas the sdk version on my device is a new version so i need to update this uh, expo app on this emulator as well i need to update this expo app so i will close this uninstall now I will run this project so when the expo app is not installed it will first install the expo app on the device so easiest way is to just uninstall the expo app if you are having version conflict So you don't need to scan the QR code, it will automatically launch Expo uh, client app on your emulator and will start building JavaScript bundles. So here is our application running on Android emulator definitely to run on Android emulator you need to have a very uh, high computation power PC having good processing good memory because if I show you over here in a task manager so our this is our uh, emulator which is consuming a lot of CPU and consuming a lot of memory and that's why it's a bit slow but we have a much convenience over here uh, because when we do, are doing development we can see the output right over here instead of uh, switching on our physical device so that's all about 
the configuration installation how we can run um, our project on emulator on our device how we troubleshoot the SDK version problems in next video we will be modifying our project and developing a small react native application and we will see the directory structure of the application and how we can actually work with this and for this definitely uh, little bit knowledge of JavaScript and react would be required because uh, the structure of the application would be very close to the react application and JavaScript would be used so see you in next lecture